Welcome to The Sims 4 Seasons! finally came in I got two different sizes I got this like skinny not skinny short one and then a tall one <laughs> and they all stack on top of each other so you can make like different configurations so let's get started on this hopefully this is like this solves all of my problems hopefully <laughs> What's poppin' everybody? So we are here at my apartment. We have the mix team here, hey, Mix Global. So Filipinos that follow me are gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. So if you're not Filipino, just try to keep up. <laughs> but uh, Mix Global is the youth division of ABS-CBN and they are doing a series called Making It in America. And there, how many episodes are there? There is currently five right now, you are number six. There are five episodes. I am episode number six. And it's basically, do you want to explain it? <laughs> so Making it in America, in essence, is an immigrant story um, that's uh, geared towards understanding how Filipinos make it all over the world. So we, it's basically called the Making It series. We have it in Making it in America, Making it in Canada, uh, Making it in Europe is coming, and Making it in Philippines is coming as well too, but it's basically talking to influential Filipinos all over the world and how we, how they, uh, turn their lives into a success. Just understanding like how everyone's story is a little bit different. Yeah. And success is different everywhere. That's awesome. And then where can people watch the episodes that are out right now? Yes, yeah, so you can actually watch all the episodes out right now on the Mix Global YouTube channel. Uh, but you can also soon uh, be able to watch it on our website through our VOD that's featuring soon. And it's going to be free. Ooh, <laughs> we love that. Make sure you guys check that out. But uh, they interviewed my parents who are back here. Put the link in the <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> down below. <laughs> So today's Friday, which means it's my self-care day, and I've talked about the concept of a self-care day a few times on my channel before, but basically a few years ago when I first started going to therapy, my therapist suggested having a self-care day every single week, which is a day that you pick out of the week to just take care of yourself. And uh, for me, that just means doing the least amount of work as possible and just doing a bunch of things that bring me joy. And uh, this is like a day that I like to tap into my inner child. So usually what I'll do is play a bunch of video games because that's what I love doing as a child. Going with the flow today, I don't really have a, a schedule today. So this will be lots of fun. Let's get to it. I have this pimple on my chin that hurts so bad. <laughs> You know, I've been toying around with the idea of doing like a matcha latte every morning, but am I that type of girl? I don't know. Maybe I'll try it out and see. Sometimes I need a little bit of energy in the morning, but um, I'm not a coffee girl because coffee gives me anxiety, but am I a matcha girl? I don't know. Maybe I'll try it out and see what happens. So I've just re-downloaded The Sims 4 on my computer. I'm looking at the expansion packs and I think I might buy one because The Sims was my favorite game to play when I was younger. Well, one of my favorite games. And I was never able to get expansion packs because I had no money, like I was 10 years old and I could never convince my parents to buy me one. <laughs> they were like, you already have the game. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. This is different. <laughs> 
But now that I can afford it, uh, I think I will indulge a little bit. <laughs> Credit card number. Ugh, God. I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to The Sims 4 Seasons. Wow, this is so exciting. Okay. Come on, Nails. I know that's right. Yes, ma'am. So, you know when you like play The Sims until like three o'clock in the morning? That's exactly what happened. I didn't have very much of a self-care day because even though I was doing something that I loved, I didn't take care of myself. I didn't eat, <laughs> forgot to eat. And uh, yeah, that, that wasn't the best. But it's Sunday today. And we're gonna go to the farmer's market. Ooh, these are dirty. I love romanticizing grocery shopping because it's one of the things that I don't love doing. So in an attempt to romanticize it, um, I go to the farmer's market now and I love the farmer's market. So I get dressed up, you know, I go with my mom to the farmer's market and then we just buy food for the week, man. I love the farmer's market. <laughs> I always get the ginger, the one with ginger because it's the place anyway. These are my favorite donuts ever of all time. They're based in Long Beach, they're black owned, and they're all vegan, even though they don't advertise as being vegan. <laughs> Thank you. It'll be eight, let me get your change. Asian pears, one of my favorite fruits of all time. Their grapes are really good too. We get flowers every week from the farmer's market. These are the ones that we got last week. They're super pretty. Look how pretty these are. Wow. Wow! So, I just wanted to get more for this week. It was stopped by Target because I needed to get my protein smooth shake smoothie things. Um, and I found this, which I think I will like better in my bathroom. Because right now, what I got in there is kind of a mess. <laughs> this is what I have in my bathroom right now. And it uh, doesn't look as good as I thought it would in my head. <laughs> and so it's kind of just here. So I kind of want to like only put one or two in that new one and maybe put this on like a little platform. Because the reason why I bought this is because I wanted it to cover the outlet, but it doesn't. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> also from the farmer's market, we got a donut and a cinnamon roll without glaze, which is kind of weird, but my mom still wanted it. But we get it from one of our favorite vendors at the farmer's market, Davies Donuts. My favorite one to get is pistachio lemon. But if you guys are interested in trying out uh, the best donuts that I've ever had, make sure you come down to Long Beach, California. They have a like a physical location, so I'll put um, their address and Instagram and stuff in the description box down below. Another thing that I got, well, I get this every week. This is like an apple peach juice. This stuff is so good. And I do like drinking liquid calories because I'm trying to gain weight. So I just have like a glass of apple peach juice with every meal. And then I've also got some almonds. This is a honey, what do they call it? Honey rose almonds, I think is what this is called. But it's so good. I love almonds because they're really high in protein and high in calories. So I just use these. Um, to snack on when I need something to snack on. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm bored or if I'm like at my computer and I just want to eat something. These are where it's at. And I got a whole bunch of other stuff, but those are, those are the highlights for today. It just did not look the way I thought it would. <laughs> this, I got this little thing from Target and it's just gonna raise the vase so that it would like completely block that outlet. Okay, 
I think this is cuter than what it was before. This toothbrush comes in black. I'm really tempted to buy it. <laughs> just to match the aesthetic. And then this candle is from uh, Miss Jackie Ayana's candle brand, Forever Mood. <laughs> yeah, I think that looks better. Okay, so after looking at this again, the proportions are actually a little bit off. I think this candle is too big for this space. So I'm actually going to replace it with this one. That, and it has like a little thing right there. I think that looks much better just because it's not as big as this candle. I think the proportions are a little bit more balanced. We still got a long way to go in terms of organizing this closet, but this helps out so much. So we have added shelving right here, and then we have an extra rack down here for more clothing. Well, I like it. So one of my besties, Aisha, she's Aisha Harun on YouTube. Um, she always like puts this on her Instagram story. I don't know how you pronounce this. I think it's Kinethe. Please correct me if I totally butchered that. <laughs> but she always put this on her Instagram stories, and I was like, that looks really good. Um, and this is my first time trying it. I found it at Trader Joe's like really randomly. It probably tastes better like at a restaurant, but this looks pretty good to me. I don't know. So we have it in the air fryer. By the way, I got a new air fryer. I found one that doesn't look like an alien incubator. This one's very nice. It like opens up like a, um, like a toaster oven kind of and there she is, she's in there cooking. One one thing I really like about this, rather than like the other one that I had where you like pull it out, is that um, you can actually see inside of it. So if you wanna check your progress, you don't have to like pull it out every time. You can just like look in there and see it. And look at her, she is browning. Um, it comes with syrup. So you pour the syrup on top and then there's also pistachios that you put on top. So this is my first time trying it. I'm very, very excited. And yeah, I will let you guys know how that goes. Well, I don't wanna to touch it, but she's so cute. She smells so good. So the cooking instruction says to pour syrup all over the top, allow to rest for one minute, flip the pastry over onto a serving dish and then sprinkle with pistachios. Interesting. Wow. Oh my God, this looks so good. Okay, we're gonna allow that to sit for one minute. Whoa! <laughs> um, wow. Okay, let's try it. Okay, there's not very many places in my apartment at night that looks good because of the lighting, but I'm just gonna try it here. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at this cheese. Can you see that? Wow. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh my God, this is so good. It's like the saltiness from the cheese, but then like the sweetness from everything else. <laughs> oh man, this might be one of my new favorite desserts. Wow. Mom, try it. Look at that. Oh, look at the cheese, look at the cheese. Oh, there's cheese inside. Yeah. Oh, can you eat that? While well, you're at home. Yeah. She's lactose intolerant like 60% of other Asians. Wow. Not good. Wow. Okay. I'm obsessed. This is it. Trader Joe's everyone. So after feeling a little bit uninspired with my style, I kind of came through a little bit today. You know, here's my outfit of the day. I actually put jeans on today. <laughs> um, my top I believe is from Koss. I'm pretty sure that's where I bought this from. My bag is from a small independent brand called Able. My jeans are from Frame. And this nice cashmere scarf 
is from All Saints. I actually got this at their end of season sale. If you want to buy like really nice designer goods, shop everyone's end of season sale. You will get the best deals. And I mean, look, like all you need is a really nice cashmere scarf to look super expensive. Like I look so expensive right now. I can't believe it. My mom's in the back, like, let's go. Oops. Oops. parking ticket actually got two violations because you know I guess I parked incorrectly I like didn't parallel park with within the lines and I didn't even realize that so they gave me a ticket for that and then I got a second violation for not having a license plate on the front bumper which is I think it's illegal in the state of California but no Teslas have them because there's nowhere to put them <laughs> So I just got two tickets. You know, I just I just came here to have fun. I just came here to have a good time. And now my day is ruined. <laughs> um, but we're on our way back home now. I literally just came here to uh, buy a Bottega bag. I can't wait to show you guys what I got. You got this. t-shirt that I think is from Gap, I'm pretty sure. I have these full leather pants that I got from Nasty Gal. Um, here's my makeup and hair situation. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. And then my coat from Aritzia. Aha! Very cute. Very cute indeed. Yes, excellent. Then love this thing because you can hold it here, you can hold it like this, you can just like hold it under your arm like this. I freaking love this thing. And you can wear it daytime or nighttime. I love this little thing. Anyway, uh, my mom and I are going to LA today. We're going to West Hollywood because I have to film some sponsored content. Yeah, we're just gonna run some errands today and um, I'm very excited. Oh my god, yes. Get the shoes and get the shoes. Oh, oh. No, <laughs> oh, let's see them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Went to the bookstore, got my Bottega, got a matcha latte. Wow. think I'm going to be doing monthly vlogs anymore because I honestly don't remember what I did or didn't vlog and so 
sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't know if I mentioned this or I don't know if I showed you guys this before because I literally just don't remember what I filmed. So I think I'm just going to be going back to my weekly vlogs because the monthly vlogs just aren't working for me. So um, I'm going to eventually do like a what I bought last month, like haul type of video because I bought a lot of things last month, like stuff for my home because I was decorating, I was organizing. You guys know in my uh, vision board video, I said that I wanted to get way more organized this year. So I got a lot of like organization stuff and I'm just gonna put all of that in like another video. But I wanted to show you guys some things that I bought in this vlog, I think. <laughs> um, but I'll start with what I bought at Bottega. I got the teen Jody. She is so freaking cute. Now here's the thing. Um, here's a tip that I have for you guys or a couple of tips that I have you guys, for you guys for buying designer bags. This has been all over social media, right? So it was like a really trendy bag. And when I first saw it on everyone's Instagram accounts, I immediately thought like, this is so cute, I need to have it. But that's the thing with trends. Do you really like it or do you just like it because you're seeing it all the time? It's a psychological game. So whenever a really trendy bag goes like kind of viral on social media, what I do for myself is I wait for the trend to die down a little bit and then I will ask myself again after the trend has died down, like, do I still like this bag? And I ask myself that because this trend has kind of died down a little bit and I was like, yeah, I do like this bag. <laughs> so if you see a really trendy bag on social media, a really trendy designer bag, and you can't decide if you really like it or if you just like it because you're seeing it all the time, wait for the trend to die down and see if you actually really like that bag, the design, you know, the style of it, or um, if you were just, you know, pulled in by the hype. So I actually really love this bag. They came out with the new size. This is the Teen Jody. They have like the, the really small one, the mini, and then they also have like the really big one. But this one they just came out with, it's the perfect size for me because the big one, I have a really narrow, body and so when bags are too big it like it just doesn't <laughs> it just doesn't look proportionate to my body so I really like this size and then the mini Jody was just way too small like you couldn't fit anything you could probably fit like a phone actually I don't even know if the pro max could fit in that bag uh, but that one was way too small so I really really love this one and another reason why I wanted to get this is because all of the bags in my closet or in my wardrobe are very structured like they have a very structured shape or silhouette I don't have I don't have one like this that's like you know malleable and you can just like throw stuff in it. It fits a lot of things in here, actually. Maybe I'll do like a what's in my bag video. Yeah, I really like the gold hardware. I think it's a really beautiful bag. Also, sorry if you can hear a bunch of noises in the background. There's a music festival literally happening across the street and it's been very loud. I've also been eyeing this for the past, I wanna say like three years. Uh, my friend Jordan had this bag and uh, I remember when I first saw it like three years ago when she had it, I was like, wow, this is a really cool bag. And then it started getting trendy on Instagram again, on social media. So I was like, who do I like this or do I just like it because I'm seeing it all the time? And the trend has died down a little bit and I realized that I actually do really like it. So I got the pouch. This is also a teen size. They also have a very small one and they also have a really big one. Personally, I really like this size because it's great for every day, but it's also a great size if you um, wanna use it as a clutch, like a, a night, like an evening clutch. I love that you can just like open it and just throw stuff in there and one of the things that I was concerned about when I bought this bag was like how do you hold it like I kind of hate clutches because like I don't like holding it in my hand but this is really cool because this little clasp right here you can actually hold it like a handle so it's actually not like like there's some there, like there's something to hold it's not just like this little clutch that you have to hold like this you know what i mean so that was really cool and it's also a really nice bag to just like keep under your arm in the philippines we call this a keep keep like keep keep bag or actually i don't know if that's a filipino thing or if that's just like a my family thing <laughs> but 
whatever. In my family, we call this a keep keep. I also wanted to add this to my wardrobe because I don't have a clutch. I don't own a clutch. This literally like filled a gap in my wardrobe. Oh, another tip that I have for you guys if you're looking to buy a designer bag is the first question to ask yourself is, do you like it or is it just trendy? And once you figure that out, the second question that you should ask yourself is, does it fill a gap in my wardrobe? So if you already have slouchy bags or if you already have like so many clutches, maybe you shouldn't buy this, <laughs> you know what I mean? But for this one I got because all of my bags are structured. I also don't have bags that are this color. All my bags are black. And I also don't have any clutches. These two bags uh, filled a gap in my wardrobe and that's just uh, uh, two tips that I have for you guys uh, just to kind of like curb over spending or over consumption because we don't like to do that in my house you know what i'm saying we don't do that on my channel we like to be very intentional so um those are just like really two really great questions that you can ask yourself and then a couple of days ago i vlogged after i met up with josh and i went to this bookstore in west hollywood it's called book soup and i was like looking around i really wanted to get a new book i wanted a new fiction book because i haven't read fiction in a really long time and i found this book called the final girl support group let me just read you the synopsis it sounds incredible in horror movies the final girl is the one who's left standing when the credits roll the one who fought back defeated the killer and avenged her friends the one who emerges bloodied but victorious but after the sirens fade and the audience moves on what happens to her Lynette Tarkington is a real-life final girl who survived a massacre 22 years ago, and it has defined every day of her life since. And she's not alone. For more than a decade, she's been meeting with five other actual final girls and their therapists in a support group for those who survived the unthinkable, putting their lives back together piece by piece. That is, until one of the women misses a meeting and Lynette's worst fears are realized. Someone knows about the group and is determined to take their lives apart again, piece by piece. But the thing about these final girls is that they have each other now, and no matter how bad the odds, how dark the night, how sharp the knife, they will never, ever give up. The sales associate, the girl who was ringing me up, was like, oh my god, I freaking love this book, it's satirical, it's funny, like, you're gonna love it. So I'm super excited about this because I haven't read fiction in a really long time. Um, and then I also got a nonfiction book. I actually got this from the Amazon four star store. I didn't get this at the same bookstore, but this is 101 essays that will change the way you think by Brianna West. Weist. Weist? I've seen this a lot on social media and I figured I'd give it a try. I cannot give you a recommendation yet because I have literally read two pages. <laughs> But I like it so far, I don't know. So um, yeah, those are the four items that I wanted to show you guys in this vlog. Um, I will film a bigger haul video that you know includes like all my organization stuff and like all that stuff. And anything that I mentioned in this vlog, of course, will be linked in the description box down below as always. And I think I'm gonna end the vlog here and start a new weekly vlog tomorrow because I cannot be doing these monthly vlogs anymore. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys next time.